hello guys welcome back to another android application development tutorial today we are going to create a simple android application with login and new user registration with mysql database so here is the android application so before going to start the development here i am going to show you the exact android application that we are going to make so before going to start the application we have to start the server and database so here i use a vamp server application so the first thing i have to start the vamp server so here i am going to start vamp server so here the green icon indicates that all the services of the server is now ready now open your browser To access the home page of VAMP server, you have to type localhost on the address bar. So type localhost. Now go to the PHP MyAdmin. So here we have a database called the user DB. And in that database, there is a table called the user info. Now there is no information available on this table. Now here you can see the structure of the table. The table contains three columns, name, email and password. Now there is no information available on this table. So this is our database. So now the database is ready. Now we can start the Android application. Okay, so now I'm going to run the application. So click the application. So when you start the application, it shows some login page here is the application name here is an email field and password field here is a login button and at the bottom of this page there is the option for new user sign up okay so first now there is no information available on this database so now without enter any field I am trying to log in so when you try to log in without enter email and password, it will show some alert dialog shows that you have to check your inputs. Okay, so now I try to enter some information, put some email and put some password and try to log in. Of course, the login failed because there is no user registered with the database. So I try to log in. So now it shows some progress dialog shows that connecting to server and now there is another alert dialog shows that login failed and try again okay so when i click the ok button it clear the email and password field okay so now i am going to register a new user with this application so select the new user sign up option so here is the registration form here is the application name here is name field email password and you have to confirm the password and at the bottom there is the register button okay now I try to register a new user put some username Thomas now specify some email address Thomas at abc.com now specify some password for the user specify the password as Thomas123 now I enter some wrong password now the password is field are not matching now try to register now it there shows an alert dialog your passwords are not matching you have to match your password so now the passwords are reset so now I try to register without enter password now it shows that please fill all the field okay so now I enter the password again password 123 now confirm that password password 123 and register now there is an alert dialog connecting to server okay now the alert dialog shows that the registration is success and here is the reply from server registration success and thank you now there is one user is registered with this application now we can check the database now i refresh the table now here you can see that one row is now insert name email and password okay now i try to log in with this information 
so before going to login I am trying to register the same user again so here one user is already registered with this now I try to register the same user again Thomas now enter some email the same email Thomas at abc.com now specify some password pass PSS pass okay so now I enter the same email ID so the user is already registered with this application the same user again try to register so I try to register it shows some progress dialog okay now the alert dialog shows that registration failed the user already exist okay that is another feature of this application okay now I try to log in with this information email is thomas at abc.com abc.com and specify password password is password123 password123 and try to log in okay now the login is success it display another page here is a welcome message with the username okay so this is the application that we are going to make now